Apex Legends players are getting extremely good. And if you want any chance to keep up or catch up, you need to be going the extra mile to improve. So in this video, I have an aim training routine with various drills in the firing range so you can improve your aim fast. Some players say, just play the game and your aim will get better. But let's be honest with ourselves. In Apex Legends, you spend 90% of your time either looting or searching for enemies. So hopping in the firing range and working away at some aim drills will 10x your rate of improvement. All of these aim drills work for both controller and mouse and keyboard. And without wasting any more time, let's hop into the firing range. So once you're in the range, you want to grab two weapons you want to practice with. For example, I'll grab the R99 and the flatline. You want to grab the best extended mag possible, so the gold extended mags. And I prefer not having standard stocks because if you see, large aim drift reduction. It makes it easier to aim, and I prefer to have it as hard to aim as possible in the firing range because I find it's better practice. You can make it as difficult as possible in the firing range. Once you get into an actual match, you'll find your aim is really good. Then grab whatever optic you want to practice with. For this example, I'll just keep iron sights. But if you want to practice with like the digi or like a 2x or something, feel free to grab one of those. Make sure you have a red armor and a gold helmet. These other things don't really matter. You can grab them if you want to. But red armor, gold helmet is good because then you can get your abilities faster and you can have the most health possible. And then you want to go to any of these buildings. I prefer this building right here. And what we're going to do is practice strafing and shooting enemies that are strafing themselves. So the reason I like this building is because there's a lot of different things in this building. So we have this open area right here, which is great for practicing. Then we also have, you can head glitch these stairs. You can slide under this if you want to. There's different doors. You want to play around doors. There's these single doors. There's double doors. They have this box right here, which is good if you want to practice head glitching on this. You can also use like wall jumps, stuff like that. They got stairs over here. You have a zip line you can practice with. There's a lot of different movement tech you can use. And also with this building, you can get on high ground and then shoot down on enemies if you want. Yeah, that's why I like this building. Just a lot of different variety. And then you want to change your settings. So you want to go to customize range. Dynamic stats, I like to keep this off. I find it's too much clutter if you have it on. You can turn this on and then turn dynamic timer on and then it'll show like three, two, one. Then it's like a stopwatch that will show you how long you've been practicing for. So if you have like a certain amount of time you want to practice for, you can keep that on. But I honestly prefer to have these off, just less clutter. Infinite ammo reloads, you always want this on so you don't have to go keep on grabbing ammo. Hit markers, you want this off, third person off. Target speed doesn't matter right now, so just leave that normal. Shield level, you want to switch this over from common to mythic. Dummy helmets, keep this on. Movement, you want to keep this over from stay in place over to stray for random. The reason you don't want a random choice is that if I spawn in the enemies, where is it? Spawn in enemies. If you have it on a random choice, enemies will just stand still a lot of the time and that's not really going to help with your aim. So switch it over to strafe random. Then they're always going to be strafing. So it's just better practice. Stance, you want this on stand. You don't want it on random stance because if you have a random stance, they will start crouching and they crouch for far too long, in my opinion, and they move really slow while they are crouched. So it's just not good for practice. It's just... A little bit too easy when they're crouched in my opinion, so I keep it on stand. Move speed, I move it over from walk to run, just makes them move a little bit faster, a little bit harder to hit them, so it's better practice. Dynamic dummy spawning, keep this on. Dynamic spawn distance, keep this on either close or mid-range. If you have it on very far or far, you find enemies spawn so far away that they're always behind cover, so you can never really see them. So even if you are trying to practice like distance, keep it on mid-range, honestly. Okay, this is actually a good example. If you find your enemies are glitched and they aren't spawning at all, all you have to do is go to customize range, and instead of switching all of this stuff around, you want to turn off dynamic dummy spawning and then turn them back on, and then they will respawn. We see with on mid range, they do still spawn pretty far away. So that's good practice for range. And then these are the basic settings. Now all you have to change is shooting. So instead of switching it over to full combat, reason you don't want on full combat is that you see enemies will start just standing still when they get close to you. They're just standing still. It's not really good for your practice. You don't want that. So instead switch it over to hard. Then they will still shoot you, but they will be constantly strafing. So I find this is better for practicing your aim. If you ever get low on health, just open up the character select menu and switch to a different legend or the same legend and you will refill your health. They just want to run around and start shooting your enemies. Practice tracking, hip firing, using diff different movement tech. Thing is, you always want to be doing different like movement tech and then just different things you'll be doing in an actual match. So if you're going to be wall jumping a lot, you want to be wall jumping like that. Use cover, if you want to use zip lines, use zip lines. If 
you get low on health, you can also just grab a red armor down here. If you want to practice using doors as cover, you can do that. I also highly recommend practicing with Bangalore. Because if you're on Bangalore and the enemies are shooting at you, you're going to double time, you're going to move faster. And when you're double timing, it's going to be harder to aim. So I find it's really good. If you can aim and track your enemies while you're double timed, you're going to be able to shoot your enemies very easily when you're running at normal speeds. Also, what is going on with this dummy? He's like stuck. And is suffering. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, if you can one clip your enemies while you're double timed, you're gonna be able to one clip them at normal speed pretty easy. And just do that as long as you want until you feel like your aim is good. And then if you wanna stop that, switch shooting off and you don't have to worry about anything else. For the next aim drill, we're gonna be practicing our aim when you aren't controlling your own movement. So we're gonna grab or get on top of this target right here. Switch it over to walk or run. I'll start with walk, for example. And then we're just going to stand still on this target and try to track the enemies on the ground. You find it's actually more difficult than it looks because you aren't controlling your own movement and the enemies are strafing them. Like, look, I missed all of those shots right there. That was just embarrassing. You'll find it's more difficult than it looks. And if that gets easy, switch it over to run. You move even faster. And if you're really, really good, you can switch it over to zip line. But I find if you can practice your aim like this, like if you can hit enemies like that, you're gonna have no difficulty at all hitting enemies in game. Like that's just crazy. But yeah, the good thing about this is it gets you used to aiming when you aren't able to control your movements. For example, if you get hit by a Maggie ball, if you're on a zip line, if you get hit by like a Horizon Q, maybe you're on like a jump pad, stuff like that. This is where this practice is gonna come in handy. Another thing I love to do to practice is like a budget scout of action challenge. Remember back in the day on the old fire range, there was a scout of action challenge where you had to get the G7 scout and try to hit as many targets as possible in 60 seconds. That isn't in the current firing range at the moment. So you kind of have to MacGyver like your own version of it. So what I like to do is grab like an R301 or a flatline or really whatever gun you want, switch it over to single fire if you can. And then try to hit headshots on these targets as fast as possible. So I'm just going back and forth, snapping on the headshots of these targets. What I like to do is move, and then as soon as I'm about to shoot, I stand still. I find it makes my aim really good. And that's kind of how I aim with single fire weapons in an actual match. So once you do that for a while, you can either you can even do it with like an R99, like an automatic weapon. Just tap. It's a little bit harder to do, but it's great practice for both controller and mouse and keyboard. And then what I do is I go up here, use this zip line. Then I like to practice long range recoil control. So I'll aim at like one of these targets, one of these targets, or if I'm really feeling it, I'll aim at one of these targets. Then I just practice, oh, I gotta switch it back to fully automatic. And then I just practice recoil control. So I usually start by just standing still while I'm doing it. So I won't move and just learn the recoil pattern. But once I feel pretty comfortable, I'll start strafing like it would an actual match to control the recoil. If you do this for like five minutes every day you play, you'll find that your recoil control will get really good really fast. Yeah, you can even do it with the dummies on the ground if you want to. It's a little bit harder, but that's always an option. But yeah, just stand up here, practice your recoil control, learn the recoil patterns. Then another aiming drill I like to do is practicing my long range tap. So I'll look at these targets back here. Usually do it with an SMG and I'll just go between the targets, shooting one bullet into each one. Again, this just practices your precision with your gun, making minor adjustments in your aim. Yeah, if you can hit these little tiny targets way off in the back consistently, imagine how easy it's going to be to hit these giant targets in an actual match. But even with endless hours of aim training drill, you will eventually reach a point where you stop improving unless you know the fundamentals of how to aim properly. Which is why you need to watch this video of 21 aiming tips and tricks to improve in Apex Legends. And if you already watched it, YouTube thinks you would like to watch this video up on the screen now. Thanks for watching.